2 Corinthians chapter 4. I tell you what, uh, this message doesn't really take that long, so you guys will be out of here pretty quick probably today. <laughs> well, I always say that, don't I? And I just keep preaching on it like, well, I wish this guy would get NASCARs on him. Amen. Uh, verse 15. Joyce is one that you're going to want to underline and put the asterisk to. So all the rest is uh, nature boy is the is the stuffing and the cranberry and this uh, the 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 fried turkey is number 15. I'm getting you there and then when you get there you'll get the revelation you need to be thankful all day long. Therefore verse 4, one, 2 Corinthians 4.1, it says, Therefore, having this ministry, say this ministry, by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. So this is the Apostle Paul pumping his church up for the days ahead because sometimes the days can be a little weighty. Amen. This one, if you got... I'm going to get there right now. If you got something that's heavy, north, live stream people, sanctuary people, hallway people, start letting God move and massage your heart right now. I'm not even going to wait. Sometimes I said it gets just a little bit weighty. In life, and you go. I, it's got to change. It's got to somewhere along the line. We got to start getting along. I got to start getting better. I got to start. I want to talk to somebody today who just wants to feel better. <laughs> feel better. I just. Oh, I want to feel better. So what I want to ask you to do? We'll bring the house lights down right now. Let's get somebody up in the tower. Bring the house lights down. I want everybody just to stand up right now. I don't normally do this, so you know this is God right here. Say, God right here, God right here, God right here, God right here, right here. I ain't read, I ain't read one verse hardly. And he said, call on somebody who just wants to feel better. Just I'm talking. Big Steve, real life, put the church smile on hold. I just want to, and, and you can just start to migrate down here. We're going to still have church, but I just want to get this, wanna, we want to kind of just get this business. Drop them house lights down, somebody upstairs. And I just want these people to start to migrate in the north. Just down here, you don't have to say anything. I just want to. I just want to feel a little better. That's all I'm after right now. I'm not, I'm not, we're nobody, nobody's going to fix you. We're not here to fix you. We're here to let God fix you. We just want to feel a little better. And I don't know what that means. You need to feel better. Just, just whatever that means just right now. And, and bring the people out of the hallway to come in here. So I need somebody to riff on the piano a little bit. Get them going. We're going to have church here today. And and over at North. Just tell everybody to hold on for a second. Hold on for just a second. Now let me tell you what that means when, when, I'm, when I'm talking about feeling better. Sometimes it's so hard to muster up being thankful. And sometimes you got to start with the smallest thing, anything, and, and be looking for it. Because I, I, I I've, I've had that week and I had a couple of weeks where, man, I tell you, I just, to be honest, I just didn't feel good. I just, every part of my body hurt and all these things hurt. And I confessed that to God. And he said, I'm going to work with you if you'll continue to work. I got to where I couldn't even hardly use my right arm at all. I couldn't even... And I didn't tell anybody that could, but I got, I got things moving back in the right way again. You don't have any idea what's going on at some of these people's houses. 
that's pretty presumptuous to you to walk in church and go, well, they got it all good and everything. And that very person that's sitting next to you could be going through absolute hell. I mean, just, you. Could, and, 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 and sometimes it's the, the thing that nags you. It's the thing in your mind, the thing in your foot, the thing in your eye, the arm, the back. And everything. Am I ever going to feel better? The answer is yes. That's good news, right? That, can we all at least be thankful? Yes. Now, hold on for a second. So I believe that. I believe that. I wouldn't have said it. And I'm, I speak it to myself. When is that day? I'm not sure when that day is. But God promised me one day it'll be better for all of us. What I'm doing is, is I'm practicing now for that day. I'm thanking God ahead of time for about what's to happen. And I believe that when I truly do that, I'm acting in faith before it even happens. Some of us can't even imagine a life without pain. You can't imagine a, you can't imagine a, a, a Christmas or a Thanksgiving or just something like simple lunch or something without some big fight or some big deal every time we every time we do this there's got to be some big thing and everybody's putting on some big facade like we all get along. Oh, I'm getting down there. I'm reading mail today. Well, what if everything isn't all right? What if we're getting honest today at this altar? That's when God says, that's when I can start to work in your life. You keep coming in here week after week, and you keep avoiding it and this and that. Today, we're going to let God be God, and we're just going to be admit, go, don't feel that great today. But today's the day that God does something about it. And the reason being is because you allowed it. If you don't want God in your life, he don't have to be in your life. Just tell him, I got everything going pretty good myself. We're, we're doing pretty good right now. You remember that was, there was a stack of bills sitting on the counter. Stack of them. We just flip a coin and see which one we're going to pay. Is she going to come over here again this Thanksgiving with the same old thing again? Is he, are they going to be tuned up when they get here? What's the deal this time? Is there going to be a fight out in the front yard? Let's end the thing with a hollering match. How about that? That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about real life with church. It's got real issues going on. Not little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest. Just say true that. Oh, I get tired of hearing that mess. Everybody's life isn't just peachy all the time. Sometimes there's a deal. I'm so glad that I can come to church with people that are real. Do you just feel like something's a little different today? You go, you know what? And what it is, is it's a, it's a spirit of thanksgiving. It gets contagious. You, come in, you, you end up being an addict, a Thanksgiving Day addict. Let's pray. We're still going to have church, I promise you. This is just the dessert before the fried turkey. I want to know today if anybody believes that God... <laughs> is in this place. Ah, yeah. uh, read it in the Bible. And I said, God is in this place. When you guys walk out of the sanctuary today in North and all the places that you're at watching, you're going to walk out and they say, that guy there and that girl right there, they had a meeting, Billy, with Jesus today. That is an encounter with the Holy One, not a counterfeit. So God, we got here a little early, and it's not surprising you a bit. We've all admitted here today by walking this aisle or raising our hand or shedding a tear by our bed as we watch this sermon. 
Lord, we don't have it all figured out. We don't have it all peachy king all the time. So we're asking you today, Father God, that you would make this day special. Not because we owe it or we deserve it, but because you're a good God who loves your children who are honest. And dear God, today, we touch that family who's here that's going through something and cleanse them and heal them. Refine them, Lord God, like fuller's soap. Oh, church, God is so good today. And raise your hand if your body is in need of healing right now. Just the Lord, and you can see them going up, Lord God. They're off like a, like a shot. Hands all across the sanctuary. And from the babies to the eldest and everybody in between, God, we need you today. Heal us where we hurt, Lord God. Heal our bodies. Heal our minds. Restore us. Back to wholeness, back to fullness. As we wait for you to do your handiwork, we, we remain steadfast in thy name of Jesus. And his people said amen. amen. Can you applaud the Lord real quick? Hallelujah. If you can make your way back to the seats for just a second. And we'll just have uh, Ashlyn, you can just riff a little bit. We're not going to be too long. Or maybe you don't even go back to your seats. Maybe you just want to, whew. Maybe you want to just sit in the presence of God. Do you ever get to a place where the last thing in the whole wide world is you want somebody to try to fix you. Don't fix me. Don't fix me. I remember that day. Sitting in the dark and I said, don't, no, 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 I don't want to talk to them. I don't want, I, I don't want anybody to try to fix me because I know I was unfixable. Isn't it nice to know that when it's too tough for you, it's just right for Jesus. Woo, Lord! That'll blow your hair back. He got it, he left. So let me, let me drill down to where I'm trying to get you today. and Just stay right where you're at. We're not even going to mess this up. This is going to be just like feathered hair. You remember that feathered hair? And when you, hold on, Chris, when you got it. Go with me back to the 80s. When you get that, oh, you bet, yeah. Spray that puppy up in hairspray so it doesn't move. I mean, it's like the, the Red Sea and the waves parting on the side. <laughs> Look at your neighbor say big hair. You know, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is we're not going to mess this up. This is a big hair day. Don't, 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 don't mess it up. As a matter of fact, take a picture of this because it's looking good right now. It's one of them days. And you can just feel God and you're just like, I'm not going to mess it up. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to sit in his holiness. We ran the devil straight out of the building. He ran straight out of the building. When you get up... You get authentic with the Lord, you don't have to play games. Amen. So, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show the surpassing power 
belongs to God and not to us, and we are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair. We're afflicted on every side, I said, church, but we're crushed, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Oh, struck down. The devil thought he had you down and out. But we're rebuking the devourer with the hand of the almighty God. With the word of God. That's how Jesus beat the devil. With the word of God, he drove him back. He drove him back. He said, it is written. All I got to do when I have a bad day is call on the name of Jesus. Now you don't understand. That's why I'm reminding you today, anytime your family gets in a, in a situation that, that you're in, in way over your head, you just call on the name and you keep calling on. I remember that when... I was going through things in my life and I said the name of Jesus, I think a thousand times a day. I just went around and said it. Oh, the devil hated it. Sometimes you'll need to do spiritual exercises to drive back the forces of evil and you'll have to use the name to get him back. He ain't scared of anything else other than the Holy Spirit and the power of God. But when he sees a spirit-filled believer, that's when he leaves town. He says, I can't deal with them people in that church. They're crazy. Spirit-filled, God-fearing Christians. He says, we always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus also might be manifested in our body. So what they're saying is, is he's telling the church that Jesus needs to be oozing out of all of our lives, in our speech and our actions. Let me take you there just straight to 15 and I'll ask you to rise with me. Again, this is like, go ahead and everybody rise. For it is all for your sake, the Apostle Paul says, as grace extends to more and more people. He says it's extending to you guys and, and you guys and you guys and you guys out in live streaming and you guys in this section, you guys. The grace is just going everywhere. He said, so thanksgiving would increase so God would get more glory. What a concept. Grace is extending to me and you. Thanksgiving gets bigger. Everybody starts getting in on the, they're thankful for things they were never thankful before. And then their demeanor and their countenance change. They go, my gosh, you're thankful for everything. Say, so you got that right, Jack. Oh man, I'm not saying that everything's great at your house. The carpet still needs to be clean and the counter. And I can't tell you that you left the coffee pot on probably. And maybe the car needs gas or something. But I got grace. That's what we'll leave today. I got, look at your neighbor and say, I got grace though. <laughs> Everything else may not be working. And as a matter of fact, I only got two gallons of gas. I got a spare tire on my car and my windshield wipers don't work, but I got grace. And it's all at the, here in verse 15, the last five verses says, to the glory of God. My job as a pastor and a Christian and a daddy and a grandpa is to bring glory to God. Amen. And when my kids see me bringing glory to my God, Amen. they're going to do the same. Amen. And when the whole family's together, oh, look out. Amen. 
It's time for me and you to set the standard in our house. Good isn't good enough anymore. It's got to be, it's got to be Jesus quality. It's got to be Jesus quality. So let's pray together with thankful hearts. I just want to ask you a question here today. If you was to perish, if you was to die and the roll was called up yonder, do you know how you would get to heaven? Are you, have you been saved by the blood of the lamb? I didn't ask you if you've been in Sunday school. It's not the question. See, here's the deal. I didn't tell you this, Dr. D, but Jesus himself asked Nicodemus and told him, he says, you must be born again. Boy, that's a game changer. Did you ever say that to somebody? Are you born again? And then they want to tell you what denomination of Christianity they are. <laughs> Scary. I didn't ask you what church you belong to. I asked you if you got a membership in heaven. I didn't ask if you pray to saints and do this and do that and, and, and do all the dances. I asked you if you're born again. There's a big difference. Ah, let's pray. If you can feel God in the house, just raise your hand with me and I'll pray with you today. So God, it's very evident across the board, across the sanctuary and across the, the great country of America and, 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 and see the shining sea, Lord God, over the great pond with our friends and other countries and other continents that are watching this broadcast today uh, to our friends in North County right there at Shackleford and Malanfi. Lord God, it's a, it's a light, it's a, it's a lampstand. They all agree that Jesus Christ is Lord. And through the power of the Holy Ghost, we're going to drive back the evil one, drive back the devourer by the hand and the word of God and through the power of his Holy Spirit. We believe that today. Now, i got to ask you this question today. What are you thankful for today? in your quiet time what are you thankful for your children and your, you're thankful for your, your spouse and your job in this country and the air you breathe and the health that you have if you're thankful for those things and so much more I want to invite you to come down here to the altar where we can all pray together on this Thanksgiving Day celebration today at this church come on make your way down if you're thankful one more time here today you'll leave here a little different I promise you today I didn't ask you if everything's right at your family. I, that's not what the question was. Would you pray with me right now? And I want to pray with you. I want to... Lord God, we are just all here together from the, the sanctuary doors to the altar, to the hallways, to the children, to the youth, to the, to the people who are, who are in, in our security and the, those who are flowing to the parking lot and those who are in live streaming. There might be a young person out there today watching this broadcast. They're the ones that their grandma and their... They're the mom that just texted their child, the daddy, just texted them. And said, if you can't make it here, turn it on live stream at least. He's, he's getting ready to bring it to a close. Young person, here's the deal. God's got a, a special life for you. And it's away from the evil one and promiscuity drugs and alcohol and things that are would take your life we want to pray for you today and ask you to to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior let him cleanse your heart and your mind and bring you back to wholeness where you can be thankful that he's given you another opportunity today and we pray for this person and all those who are gathered here today at this church in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ and his children collectively said amen.